Welcome back to the show, everybody. Can you spell dog? What about cat? Well, unfortunately, the words will be a lot tougher to spell on March 24th during the first ever Four Paws Spelling Bee benefiting Four Paws Pantry in Chattanooga. Welcome our great friends, Sandy Smith and Betty Crawford. Nice to see you, ladies. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for, for having what you us. Do. You. Let me just mention this. You were based in Red Bank. Mm -hmm. Now you are housed at the Humane Society. Mm -hmm. You are open, though, to the entire community. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Uh -huh. We do are not have to be a county. You don't have to be in the city, but anybody can come to That's Four Paws. That's right. Okay, a quick explanation before we get into this. What is Four Paws? We're a nonprofit uh, food bank for animals. We help people feed their pets when they are having hard times and can't afford to feed their pets. How do they show that they need help? They come and fill out an application. They have to prove that they have residence in Hamilton County or the city of Chattanooga at this present time. And then they have to prove that their animals are spayed and neutered. That's the one rule we do not budge on. Which is, a, which is a great idea. And we give them one month of food per animal for up to six months. It's great. This is just a love that mm -hmm. y'all have started several yes. years ago. It's working. Let's talk about this four paw spelling bee. This is going to be great. And um, it's going to be a fun night. And you can't beat Barking Legs Theater. I know. So let's I talk know. about what's going to happen. Well, we're, uh, we, we want it to be a fun night. Uh, you have a team, $250 for a team, $50 per person for a per team member. But we want people to come either dressed as dogs or cats and have a good time. We have a, a, a Golden Bone Award that we'll give. We have a Ball of Yarn Award that we'll give. Uh, plus, we're, hope, we're working now on a, a prize for the team that wins overall. This is great. But and we listen, want to be a good time. We've got pictures of some of the animals that, uh, mm -hmm. that y'all have helped throughout the years. And what yes. you're seeing also is that a lot of people, a lot of families that you're helping actually come and volunteer or they yes. give back in yes. special ways. We have a place on our application and we ask, how can you give back? So we've had people bring us a bag of food. We've had them bring $2 or volunteer their time. We are not specific, but it's a way of helping them to feel like they're just not getting a handout. They're helping somebody else <clears> to. Yeah. And what has the response been? Has it been, uh, is it, is it been a tough year for a lot of folks? It has. Yes. It has, especially the first of the year. It's mm -hmm. been really hard. We've picked up uh, eight new families since the first of the year, which is a lot for us. But people that have lost their jobs, they haven't started getting their unemployment checks yet, or they've started a job and they haven't got their first check yet, you know, they kind of need that little help over that hump. And these animals and the families that you were seeing on the screen, I mean, these are people that are just sending their pictures and say thank you. Mm -hmm. for getting us through this tough time and mm -hmm. for, uh, for, for letting us keep such an important member of our family. Since 2012, we've given out over 500,000 meals. That's a lot. That is fantastic. And that's only Chattanooga and Hamilton County. We've got to get you on Ellen or something like that. <laughs> Can you imagine one of those Ellen checks oh, yes. coming your way? We would love it. We could help more. We want to start a fund this year, if we can, to uh, assist with spaying and neutering. You know, if you can't afford to feed your pets, you can't even afford low-cost spaying. And we're seeing what's happening now in North Georgia and Fort Oglethorpe. They're complaining mm -hmm. about the feral cats. Well, mm -hmm. you know what? It all starts with spaying and neutering. That's right. You can release them out into the wild, and they're not going to have litter not, after litter well, after litter. Well, they just have so many, but the health benefits as well. You're you right. know, the animals will stay home. They're... It's just much better. And our guest, Aaron Epstein, is already signed up to be yes. a sponsor. Project. Yes. So you're doing yes. great. Let me go ahead and show the information up. All Let's right, talk great. about that. And you need sponsors. Also, you're looking for dry dog food. Is that correct? Dry, dry and dog and cat. Dog dry, and cat. Dry cat and dog food. You're yes. in desperate need of that. Yes, we are. We All are. Right. So please, if you can help out there in desperate need of dry cat and dog food, it is called Four Paws Pantry. If you'd like to take part in this first ever Four Paws Spelling Bee benefiting Four Paws Pantry. It's March 24th. March 24th. I'm sorry, I was looking at that. At 6 30 until, and if you have never been to Barking Lakes Theater, it is such a great venue. There it is 475 6342 or Four Paws Pantry TN at gmail.com. And the registration is right there on the, on yes. the website. Is yes. that right? Yes. All yes. right. How many teams do you hope to have? We hope to have 10. 10 teams. Yep. And it's two fifty a team. Yeah. Yes. Which is not and much. five people on a team, so that's only fifty dollar donation per person. Oh, that's going to be perfect. That is perfect. All right. Good but luck. But that'll to help us. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's great to have y'all here. Thank you. We're back after this.